again, once again. How's everybody doing today? So, today, we are going to talk about some things that you have right now that you can use to influence and create your life. You always look. You always want to create your life by design, not by default. Most of us are manifesting by default. Basically what default means, take my shades off. Basically what default means is we are manifesting based on our subconscious habits. Our subconscious actions and our subconscious habits our default programs that are that we're manifesting right so I want you to keep keep that in mind so I want to talk about something I've, I've uh, mentioned before I made a couple shorts on this stuff this is called your point of power every single conscious human being that has the awareness of consciousness has a point of power your point of power determines the quality, the abundance, or the lack and scarcity of your life. I want you to get that. Let me repeat that. Your point of power determines basically what your life is going to become. Okay? So first of all, let's talk about what life is what is reality because in order for you to use what I'm going to teach you today teach you how to activate your point of power to manifest or create in order for you to to know this stuff you have to know what life is and what reality is so let's talk about what life really is and what reality is guys so reality my friends are not this material or this physical stuff that you see around you my friends in science and we use quantum mechanics to really study how things come into existence. We've discovered and we've known this for decades that life and everything in the material world is actually pretty much immaterial and is masked as illusions to our brain. So we are basically composed of matter. Matter is what we call particles. These particles are dense based on the density of these particles they look to us as solid solid objects Let me repeat that based on our perception they look to us as solid object and the reason they look solid is speed momentum these particles they move some part these particles move speed of light so fast that they look like they're solid if we slow them down we could see their slow mo moving Okay, so the speed of these particles, they appear as a house, a car. The slower these particles go down, you will see them as liquid, gas, etc. Does that make sense? All right. So we understand that component. So reality is in material. So now let's talk about your point of power. So since reality is in material, and we decode reality through our brain, right? The way we see reality is through our brain. Our brain processes information. And based on the information our brain process, we create perceptions of what we call real life world with stuff. Got it? All right, good. So now, your point of power has two components. Attention and focus. If you can get those two things together, attention and focus, you are going to manifest whatever you want, even with blocks, even with limiting beliefs. Albeit though, these limiting beliefs, they will show up and sabotage you eventually if you don't change them, but you will still manifest. So here's how it goes. Let me use the illustration of a car, because it's very easy to understand this principle. Let's say you want to manifest a car or a house, same principle. So. My attention now is going to be on my car. So let's say, oh, I see this beautiful sports car. That got, gets my attention. Okay? That's my attention. So now where does my focus come in? I get the attention on a car. My focus now is staying on the car by repeating a process. By me thinking about the car, 
by me imagining driving the car, by me seeing the car in my life. That's called my focus. See, attention grabs it, focus keeps it, then it manifests. That's how it works. That's called your point of power. The interesting thing about your point of power is though, you have been duped and you're being tricked. You're using your point of power for stuff you don't even want and you don't even realize it. Your news station, the media is making you use your point of power because the point of power is really more powerful when they can access your subconscious mind, when they can get below your conscious mind and they can put subliminal messages, subliminal thoughts, they can put their limiting beliefs on you and then you manifest for them, for you. See how that works? All right. So when everything began, everything began from one little point called a singularity. From that singularity became everything you see around you. It became your house, your car, everything around you, okay? The thing is, you all came from that single point. So even though you think you're separate from the house or the car, you're actually not. You're actually entangled with everything you want. So this is why you have to think it's already done because you're connected to it. If you think it's not done or think it's going to come, you separate yourself from that which creates resistance. So if you don't think you have the money, it's all around you. You're entangled with it. And that's how your mind operates in that frequency range, particularly your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind will operate based on assuming that you already have the very thing that you're desiring. It is our conscious mind that messes us up. It's our conscious mind that gives us the illusion that we are not connected, that we can't have it, that we are not worthy to get it. Our conscious mind looks at some of these things and say, well, this happened to you, so therefore you can't get it. Does that make sense? Everything you desire already exists, but it's exists in what we call probability of existence. Let me explain that what that means. Probability of existence is superposition and in, in simple terms all the possible outcomes all the things you want exist in one state and it's going around infin infinitely until you accept here's the key now until you accept that it is yours and you deserve it you're going to collapse that superposition to become now not a probability of existence but a definite state of existence the definite state of existence follows you into the three-dimensional world and you experience a definite state of existence as a physical, tangible object. So that's very important to understand. Now let's go back to your point of power. So when you have your point of power activated, the point of power comes from a couple, from two places. It comes from the heart. And it comes from the mind or the brain. More dominantly, your power is within the heart. Your heart has a very large electromagnetic field. Your heart is magnetic. Did you, oh man, did you know that? You are magnetic. Your heart is magnetic. So your heart is always attracting stuff towards you because it sends out electromagnetic energy. That's what they don't tell you people. That's why they have people running a rat race. That's why they have people reaching for things that they, they that's already theirs. Because it's like, I always use this analogy, man, and it's so true. It's like a dog chasing its tail, man. The dog is part of the tail, and the dog thinks he's not his tail, so he chases the tail. He never catches his tail. Can't catch his tail because his tail's already his, man. But it, people don't even know what love is, or how to be love, how to show love. Because again, it's all flawed. We are, all of us have been damaged from birth. We've been damaged with toxic ways. Did you know some people show love by hurting people? By abusing people? They call that love. I always say this. Hurt people, hurt people, love people, love people. Why do you think people stay in toxic relationships? Why do you think people stay in domestic abuse relationships? They think it's love. They're, not, they're, not, they're used to that stuff so they feel that's how their life is complete. So you see how they mess stuff up to you guys. So you think like, oh, I got to deserve it and accept it. It's not as simple as you, as you think, my friends. You literally have to retrain your mind to see how reality works. Did that sink in yet? Let me repeat it again because it's very important. 
you haven't been taught how to deserve, how, how to accept what you want correctly.